this is Dylan Jones, and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In this session, we're going to be talking about how to use the Job File Converter tool. So I've got a job file here that I want to open up. This is a job file I copied over from an older data collector. I'll try to hit the Open button, and you'll see that I get an error message that says that the, this version of Trimble Access cannot open a version 2.50.2 job, um, only job files of 2017.00 or later can automatically upgrade. So if you see this error message, what this means is that the job file version is too old for the current version that, you, that you're running to automatically upgrade. So what we need to do is use a tool um, that you can find online to convert the job file up to the proper version. Now to know which version you need to upgrade to, what you can do is simply click on your menu button in Trimble Access, scroll down to the About option, and note the Trimble Access version here. So you can see here I'm running version 2019.11 on my data collector. So now what we want to do is open up a web browser, preferably Google Chrome, and go to this web address that you see in my URL bar. So I've typed in tbc.trimbleaccess.com forward slash job converter. So you can see here I have job converter open and I'm going to browse for the file that I want to upgrade. Now you can either drag and drop in files or you can click choose a file and it will launch the uh, Trimble or sorry the Windows File Explorer. I'm going to go to where the file is currently stored on my data collector and you can do multiple job files here. Another thing to mention is that you can also upgrade survey style files and job templates. Okay, so now I'm going to tap the begin conversion process button. And now we want to select the Trimble Access version to upgrade the file to. So remember I was running 2019.11. I'm going to click the Go button. And now this online service has processed an output file here with the same job file name. If you happen to upload multiple job files at once, you, can, you have the option to also download this all.zip file. So when you, when you download the all.zip file, it combines all of the job files or survey styles or job template files into one zip file, which you'll need to then extract all and go, um, go about copying and pasting files in the proper directory from there. I just have one file, so I'm going to click on the single job file name and I'm going to download it to the proper location. I'm going to give it a slightly different name here just because I have the job file um, already loaded here in this project location. I could remove the old one um, just by simply deleting or cutting and pasting it somewhere else as a backup. Um, but instead I'm just going to rename it here very simply. And click the Save button. Okay, so now my job file is saved. I can go back into Trimble Access. Now I'm running the emulator here on my computer. Of course you would probably copy the job file over to a flash drive and then transfer it over to your data collector from there. So I'm just simply skipping a step here. Um, so I'm back in my Trimble Access emulator. I can now go back up to my jobs button. I'm going to hit the refresh button and then I should see at the bottom of my list the new job file and I should be able to open this. You can see here I get another error, but this is just because I'm running an emulator um, on a job that has more than 50 points. Um, ideally, on a regular data collector, you wouldn't see that. But that is the process for updating a job file using the Job File Converter online tool. This has been another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. 
We hope you enjoyed this video and will join us again next time.